Tuesday floss tube. Hello crafty friends. It is Tuesday, September the 15th. My name is Caroline. Welcome back. Daily crafty chat. It's been, it has been a few days. It has been a few days. Um, we still don't have our internet <laughs> sorted out. So this next week is kind of a bit of an experiment in uh, learning how much data we use. It, it's 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 quite amazing when you really have to pay attention to to what you're using. Um, it's it's we get very used to unlimited data. You know it's it's amazing how quickly you get very used to unlimited data. And then when all of a sudden you have to really take note of exactly what you're doing and what is using the most amount and so on and so forth. My battery light's just flashing. Let me just change my battery. Hang on a sec. Um, hmm, what was I saying? Internet usage. Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, it's been, <laughs> you look, we have these apps on our phone called data flow. And so you can check at the end of the day how much data you've actually used of your plan and how much you have left until the next billing period. <laughs> it goes remarkably quickly. So I've been trying to keep my Instagram and Facebook usage to, uh, you know, I, it's not like we can't use it. It's just that um, when there are, when there's more than one person trying to use it, and one of them has to be, needs it for school, then we, we need to be aware. So these videos I'm going to try, I'm still going to do my very best to try and, you know, if not every day, try and put out one, um, as often as I can, because I love having a little daily diary record of my makes as well as a little visit with you kind of, it's nice to keep in touch. Um, so Nicholas's school was delayed uh, while they were still organizing the online, the full remote learning system. Um, but we have had several emails from his, his teacher who seems lovely. She seems really nice. And um, we were able to access and learn the Brightspace platform. So I feel, I feel a lot more confident about his remote learning than, than I did sort of before we had looked into that. So, um, the next few months anyways, and in a few months we will reevaluate and see whether or not, uh, he's ready to go back and do face to face. But for the moment, you know, um, it's not often that you have a, an opportunity to, to do something like this and, and live off the grid for the beginning of school. So we're taking advantage of it now if we find out in three days that he's blown through our entire month's worth of data in three days, then uh, we might have to move back home, but we'll, we'll, we'll take that as it comes. So we're just trying to be flexible and roll with whatever comes, whatever comes, what may, whatever comes, comes you know the expression i'm sure okay so crafting crafting wise i have i have a few things to share i haven't had a ton of time but in the evenings when i'm sitting uh watching television keeping my hands busy just like you know you all do the same thing i have been working on a few things so first up is my martin luther king sampler by Stone Street Stitchworks. And again, any, all of my projects that I'm, that I'll be sharing on a daily basis, I'm going to try and do a better job of putting the details in the description box below. So if you have questions about um, what I'm stitching and also I'm going to start, I'll also include information on the frames that I use. Cause I, this is probably my most common question is what frame, what lap frame do you use? What floor frame do you use? Do you like it? So on and so forth. Um, all of the frames that I use, I love, and they're just different tools in the toolbox. And if I love something, you may hate it. So there's, there's that as well, right? So lots of people might not like the types of frames that I use, but anything that I use, I, I like it. Okay. So the Martin Luther King sampler, this is uh, stone street Stitchworks. 
and it's isn't it pretty so I've added a few more vines and I stitched a flower stitch that flower there and I added in the lighter green color so for the first time I opened up that that skein of uh, dinky dye silk from my friend Carrie the creative curator in Australia she sent me this skein of dinky dyes oh and a few years back now along with a Christmas ornament and I have been saving it in my drawer so what I still actually I still need to do this so that is dinky dyes 135 dandenong that's the color name I think I pronounced that properly but if I didn't let's see if we can get this to focus it is very gray here today there we go and dandenong and so Carrie sent me this a few years back and so I put it on uh, just a thread drop and I think we, I think I got these at the New Jersey floss tube retreat in the in the grab bag so it's been nice to use these I have some of them on my Lila studio threads as well so I have cut these to length that I like to stitch on and then I just pull I just pull one out from the the knotted end as I go um, and what I'm going to do is on the back I'm going to write the I'll write this information as well as um, who gifted it to me because you know I'm not going to be using very much of it in this project at all so then I'll have a record of what it is and who gave it to me so yeah this is coming along my goal is to have it done by the end of September the month is half over I still have half a month so we'll see we'll see okay next up my Christmas sock my Christmas sock I knit all the way down to the toe look at that I am just this morning I finished the red stripe and cl clipped my yarn because I'm adding in of course the green yarn for the toe and I'm ready I am ready to knit the toe and then my second sock will be done so I feel pretty darn good about that because um, I want to get back to my fruity pebbles sock that's my um, my Leo and Roxy yarn and I know uh, one of the members of the Friday Off the Grid group actually called up the shop and had them had them uh, send her a skein. And if I'm not mistaken, you're in the you're in the states, I think. I can't remember your name, but I remember the picture because you were so pleased that you were able to get it, and I I just love that. So Leo and Roxy, and uh, they are the in-house dyers of the Little Red Mitten which is a beautiful yarn shop in St. Thomas, Ontario. And this is the August 2019 Sock of the Month Club yarn. Of course, it looks totally different when it's um, in its skein form. And so this has been affectionately named the Fruity Pebble Sock yarn, just because it was a fun name and it was... Uh, it was a viewer who named it. So I am ready to um, work my way down to the heel. So this is this is going to join the rotation next once the toe is done on my Christmas sock. And at the same time, I'm gonna be casting on a new sock. I'll leave it as a surprise as to which yarn and which pattern. Maybe that's a clue. Um, I have... Where did it go? Oh yeah, here it is. Speaking of Leo and Roxy, in that Sock of the Month Club, they gave um, a little treat along with every month's uh, skein of sock yarn. And one of the months, this is the most useful thing that I've ever gotten. It was a, a Kitchener Stitch cheat sheet on a keychain. And I keep this in my knitting bag and that way um, whenever I get to the toe because I don't 
do toes very often. So you always sort of forget the little steps that you need to do the Kitchener stitch um, to close off the toe. So that is very, very handy. So I like, I keep that in my bag, my pretty yarn, and that is next. So my Christmas sock is almost done. Hooray. The other thing that I worked on with the needle too. This is a Lila Studio Design pattern and I am smitten. Smitten. It is a beautiful pattern. It's just a beautiful pattern. This is one of those, you just know this is going to take forever, right? And that's okay. I'm in it for the journey. <laughs> someone laughed they, then they saw the pattern and were like wow oh, that must be so big and then I held up the fabric and they were they were shocked so yes this is the other side and there's where I am all the way back in the bottom left corner but I actually did a fair bit I know it doesn't look like much but I think I did some more work on the border on this side. I added that flower on the top and I did some fill in on a couple of those little motifs that were in the border. I completely finished that fruit basket because that was that was only about half done. So I finished completely finished the fruit basket. I did that teeny tiny little pink heart that's beside the fruit basket. Did those three letters. I'm starting the sampler alphabet on the top here. There are two alphabets in this piece, which I love. Two different fonts. And I just think that they're both so pretty. Oh, you'll have to excuse. If you hear some banging noise, uh, John is moving firewood at the moment under the cottage. So I think he's, he's being enthusiastic with his moving. Um, and then, of course, I started the... That's the the first deer on that side right there. So I did the grass pile and I'm starting the stitching of the deer. No, I'm still working on the grass pile, but I did a little bit of the of the brown from the deer. That deer is so cute. Let me show you a picture on the the pattern itself. I love this. Look at that deer. So it one color but it's just I don't know it's magnificent I love it and then of course there it's it's mirror it's twin over here on this side hopefully you can see that sorry I my light is on in here again today so I oh, just love it I don't have a couple of the colors one of them was a crescent, uh, crescent colors, a classic color works that I'm missing. Um, this blue color here, and I have a skein of a Vicky, a Victorian motto sampler thread that I think might work instead as a substitution, but it's at home, so I'm just gonna keep stitching the other. Um, I have enough other stitching on this I can surely do before I go home and also I need to um, I want to I'm only going to spend a few more days on this and then I'm going to go back to my Glendon place hope and strength back to that back to that border okay and that's it that's that's what I worked on I sort of focused on those three things so a couple more days with my Lila studio I have a lot of sewing to do over the next few days so actually um, I don't know. I might stick to the smaller, simple things because when I, when I have a few long sewing days, especially when Nicholas is with me during the day and, and John is working, uh, I tend to then do more of my sewing work later into the evening. And then John sort of takes over with Nicholas in, in the evening and, and dinner prep and all of that. So by the time my day is done and I'm ready to go and sit down with the family, I'm pretty tired. So I think I'm not even sure that I'm going to maybe starting the toe. I might, I might do that, but I also might get my other sock knit down to the heel. And this is very straightforward stitching my, my, my Martin Luther King sampler. So, um, there's no reason why I couldn't go back and do a few more stitches into this. So that's the plan. Thank <laughs> you.
Um, so moving forward, the next couple of days, I'm going to have to take a little, I, I know I didn't, I haven't done a whip parade, a viewer whip parade in a couple of days. And I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I, I feel badly. Um, but time wise, they take a lot of time to prepare. And I, I know many of you who are parents with kids in school and this time of year, getting everything back on track with scheduling and stuff. Uh, it's a very busy time of year. And so I don't have a lot of time to prepare to, to do justice to, to those, um, you know, because you guys d d deserve me to edit them in carefully and, you know, write the description properly. So um, I'm going to hold off on the whip parade just for a few more days, maybe until next week again. So I apologize for those of you who have sent me emails and I haven't put them in the video yet. I hope you understand. Um, but I will, I will, I will do them again. I promise when I have a little bit more time, I, I'm hoping next week when, when, once Nicholas sort of gets into his routine and Luna's telling me it's dinner time. She's, she's uh, having a little moan under the table here. So um, so yes, the whip parade and the other thing that I have been very busy working on is the ever tote, just stitching along Krista Gramer Christmas kit that's going to be coming out this Friday. So this Friday is when I'm going to release it. I have, I still have a fair bit to do to get ready for that. Um, so I don't, I, I don't have, a, I'm not sure what time yet or or um, what the video is going to look like yet, but it will be sometime on Friday. And I'm so excited. I have the box of charts from Krista. They arrived. Um, John brought them up the last time he came to the cottage and they're just above my head. They're just out of the, out of the screenshot there. You can't quite see them, but I have all of the patterns in my, in my hot little hand and I love it. I am so I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I love the bag. I love the pattern. And I just, I think that, uh, I, I'm really excited to share it with you this year. So, and it's probably the biggest kit set collection that I've ever done. So I have a lot of work ahead of me, but the fabric, I just, I'm completely in love with the fabric this year. I'm always in love with the fabric. What am I saying? I mean, it's, it's every new fabric becomes my favorite. And then you think, oh, it can't possibly get any better. And then the next fabric comes out and you know, you're all the same, aren't you? New project comes out a new designer comes out with a new design and you're like, Ooh, I have to, and you, you know, it's, it's part of the, part of the joy and the, the pleasure in what we, um, are fortunate enough to be able to create and make and do and uh it's exciting so more on that later in the week but it does mean that uh things have been fairly uh moving along at a good clip around here the last few days and in the next few days to come so uh yeah but I've missed this space again, I, as I always do when I have to, when I take a few days off. So it's really nice to be back and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow for just a quick little break and chat. And I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. And, uh, um, I hope I, number one, I hope you're safe. I know there are hur with hurricanes and, and fires and all of the things going on right now. Um, it is, uh, it's a worrying time for sure. On that note, I will wish you happy stitching for the evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching.